Hello. I am. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so proud of myself because I figured out how to like go live from my um, scheduled video. That was the first time I've ever been able to do that. Hello. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Marty. I saw a few people that were already waiting. I have my haul all set out. Mark is here, too. He's doing something to the building and he's making a little bit of noise. So hopefully he won't be too extremely noisy. Hi, Carrie. So I have a haul here. It is like, it isn't a huge haul, but it's some of the things you had seen from yesterday's video. And I put out that video because I was supposed to put out another one out because Jeffrey and I are trying to put the same ones out, you know, around the same time. And I, I don't know what happened. But I didn't, all my footage wasn't in there. So I'm that one's going to be out on Monday and I'm going to film a haul because it's not long enough to be a standalone video. Hi, Butterfly Nurse. I hope that you're feeling better. Hi, Andrea. Um, I got all of my invoicing done yesterday. I'm still waiting on some emails from a few people for, to get their addresses. But um, some new customers, which is great to have new customers. But um, I don't have their addresses yet. Do you like my earrings, Kelly? Kelly, which found again, she's got a YouTube channel. Make sure that you check out her YouTube channel. She made these earrings. Aren't they great? I love it. I love it. Hello, Jamie. I don't know, Kelly, are you selling these? Do you have a website that you're selling these on? I love them. Hi, Tammy from Louisiana. Humpty Dumpty has arrived safely. I am so glad. I always worry about my um things i mean you know all y'all know that i pack things pretty well but it still makes me worry and you know accidents do happen sometimes i've had things that have gotten broken and i you know i pack things i i go a little overboard but sometimes things get broken and we can't beat ourselves up over it we just we learn from it and we move on hi peterson okay okay yeah I, sharon i think i got your i came into the shop today too to finish up a few things and I have had people that have emailed me things um, from haul videos that they are wanting to purchase. I, they're all looking at me. I see them all right there. So I'm going to work on getting those done today as well. Okay, so Kelly says that if you want some earrings, these will make great Christmas gifts. You can message her. She'll do different colors if you want Christmas colors or whatever. But these are wood and they're very, very lightweight. I love them. I love them. I typically only wear, my earrings are usually just from local artisans. I just, I don't know. That's just, I mean, I get my necklaces and my rings, my bracelets from Julia Jewelry, but my, my uh, earrings I like to buy from local artists. And Small Business Saturday is next Saturday. So make sure that you guys, if you are able to go out and support some of your local small businesses, that they really, really need the help. Now, more than ever, we need to... Um, you know, make sure that we're going out and supporting a small business. I would almost say maybe don't go on Small Business Saturday because there'll probably be more people. Go like through the week when there isn't as many people there. Oh, thank you. These, I love a cardigan. I You'll see me in cardigans a lot because I love my t-shirts. And I get, sometimes when I'm in here, I get hot. So I'll take off the cardigan if I'm, you know, running around doing something. But I, I wear a lot of cardigans. Colleen, I, I went to the post office today and I still haven't seen it. Send me an email and may, we'll make sure. I mean, I did a friend mail video. Uh, gosh, it's been a couple weeks ago. So maybe send me an email. And we'll just make sure if it's if a tracking number or whatever. But I do have a box that I will be opening here in a second, which isn't friend mail, but it's it's from Thrift U, but someone had bought something from their live sale and had it sent to me. So I will, I'll open that here. I just picked it up today. Okay, you sent me an email. Great. All right. Hi, Sharon. Well, let's go ahead. I, let, should I show you the things that I'm going to keep? If you come across a Cupid doll, I would love to buy. Okay, well, listen, I, if I can find them at a decent price, I do buy them. It's something that I like to find too. So absolutely, those are the kinds of things that I like to pick up. The, 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 I mean, well, like this, like this. This is a, it's a squeaker. 
I like their things, the Sandy Toy, and there is the Sun Rubber Company, and Rempel does a lot of squeakers. I like this one, and, and uh, Edward Mobley does a lot of ones too. Um, I'm keeping this. I got it from, we went to the Lighthouse. This is from the Lighthouse that Jeffrey, Barb, and Mark and I went to. And I don't know where we were. You, you might you might notice that in the video because I didn't drive at all. Mark did all the driving around. And so when I was doing my intros, I was like, we're at the, the Lighthouse Antique Store. And I don't know where we're at because we, we didn't stay in Trenton. There isn't a lot, of tr lot to do in Trenton. We kind of went to some other places. So I didn't know where we were. So that's why. So if like how you have to email Jeffrey or if Barb's in the chat, she'll be able to tell you when I didn't know where we were. I was just along for the ride. But this Sandy toy is a squeaker is in beautiful condition. He reminds me of the Santa from the, um, oh yeah, uh, Holiday World, which is Santa Claus land. There's a big statue that Santa is kind of standing like that and you can go get your picture taken next to him. So he's going in my squeaker collection of Santas. He, has a, he does squeak really well, but I know all your dogs probably will go a little crazy. Um, Mimsy Resell, thinking of getting a booth in the Well Antique Mall. across. Oh, you guys are talking about antique malls. I love the antique malls. Am I the only one that has... Am I the only one who has lost Misty? Can you all see me? Have you lost me? Am I still there? Let me know. Oh, hi, Sarah. Um, I am going to an antique mall on Monday. Listen, if you are a reseller, okay, good. Okay, good, Samantha Joe. If you're a reseller right now, be safe. You know, wear your mask, wash your hands all the time. Keep your social distance. You, I would go and stock up as much as you can. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to, we don't know what kind of month we're going to have coming up. So um, I'm trying to go out and, and buy as many things as I'm able to. I was buffering. Okay, but I'm okay now. Okay, good. Um, so I, I'm, I'm kind of going twice a week if I can. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm going to go on Monday. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to keep is this other thing. I think I'm going to keep this. I, 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 may, I may sell it. I'm not quite sure, but it is. This was in the video. It was in the case. It wasn't on sale. They had a case in there that, that it was like 25% off anything that was over $5. So this was $4.99. And I, that, you told me in the video, I was like, so is it close enough to $5? And he was like, no. But it's a girly. And I, I mean, it's a more modern one. But I like that it was still in the box. But it says do not eat. Do not eat. But they're made in the USA. So I kind of like this one. There's his little stand. I don't know if I'm keeping him or if I'm selling him. I, I just, I don't know yet. We'll see. Once I get all my Christmas stuff out. And, and in fact, I am going to be purging some of my Christmas items. Because I have a lot of Santas and I'm trying to be a little bit pickier at the ones. Someone had sent me an email um, about if I was selling my Santa mugs. I, I, I That's not something that I'm selling in my Santa mugs. Hi, hi, Vinny. Oh, listen. Yeah, the candle said do not eat because maybe people think that Santa looks like candy. I know that Maria is having a live sale right now. I'm so sorry. I just sometimes will just be like, I'm going to go live at, you know, one o'clock. It's so hard to keep track of that calendar. It seems like every, every hour of every day, there's a live sale of some sort going on. So there are never, there's never a, an absence of live sales. So if you want to go over to Maria, the California thrifter, and watch her live sale and then come back and watch my, because I'm not necessarily selling anything. Although there's a couple things that I am going to put back and, and save for my live sale and a few things that I'm going to keep. But most all of, a lot of, a lot of the stuff, you can send me an email and I will sell it to you. You're purging and I'm adding. I mean, I'm always adding too. All right, so, and I think I saw Fatbird Finds come in. Hello, gals. Sorry, I, I, I always miss the flipping and sipping because I'm in trouble for being on the computer for Jeffries. And Mark's like, are you going to pay attention to me? So, I'm going to turn, I got to turn my phone off. The calendar, yes, is crazy. 
it, it's it's hard to find a slot and and the way the way that i mean those of us that are having these live sales and live events that are in this community we all kind of agreed that you know what we can still support one another and and do that but at the end of the day we've got to i mean we've got to do our stuff when when we got to do it so it, it, the calendar is great as a if you are a viewer but if you're a creator it, it it can be a little much because then you're trying to think well i'd like to make, to have an extra live and just go on and chat but you can't do it so if you want to go and watch maria's sale and then come back and watch mine absolutely do that because i like i'm not i'm not necessarily selling anything um also my live sale this week will be on tuesday instead of wednesday which I'm kind of excited about because then my Michael Todd might be able to watch because he has Tuesdays off. So I am, the reason why is because, you know, Thanksgiving's on Thursday and it's just going to be the four of us, but I am going to be cooking and, you know, I'm trying to make like our table look pretty because it's, it's kind of a different Thanksgiving. So, um, and Emma will be home. So I figured I'm going to, um, just have my sale on Tuesday there are, I know that side, not side street market, but um, Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties, she is having her sale right after my sale on Tuesday. So I'll, you know, plug her so she can, you know, you guys can just go over and watch her sale. Um, and then Michelle, Comfy Cozy Living, is going to have her sale during my normal slot. It's confusing. So just, just know that you can check on eBay, or not eBay, you can check on um if you're on YouTube and just hit the little, especially like when you're on your phone or even on your, on your computer, if you hit subscriptions, whoever is live will pop up if you're subscribed to them. So make sure that you're subscribed to all of your favorite reselling channels because there, there will be someone live at some point in the day. Yes. Alex's sale is uh, tomorrow at one o'clock. She's, she's going to have some pretty amazing things though, too. So you have to make sure that you uh, check out her stuff too. Okay, let's show some more stuff. The other thing that I'm keeping is this because, you know, I have that basket now that I have to fill them with. So the Scotch Tape Tin, I think it was also $4.99, which is, re you know, it's pretty much retail for it, but I mean, I, I got it to keep. Um, I don't think I got anything else out of that cabinet when he opened. Oh yeah, I did. I got these girly candles. These I'm keeping too, because I'm showing you the things that I'm keeping. Hi, Cindy. I'm keeping these girly candles of the turkeys. Now, these are old ones. This one was 59 cents way back when it was sold new. And this one was 19 cents way back when it was sold new. And I'm adding these to my shelf of turkeys. I am ready to put up my Christmas stuff, I know. But I'm just thinking... For those of us that are maximalists, that means we are not minimal minimalists. We have a lot of stuff. Um, the thought of putting up the decorations while it sounds fun and festive is a lot of work. So I'm not looking forward to it, but I kind of just want to get done. So it's done, you know. But yeah, I love, the, I have a whole shelf full of turkeys. And um, I, I have one shelf that I have some bare spots, so I was able to find a couple more of these. And I did pay retail for those as well because I'm keeping them. Another thing that I'm going to keep is this. And I know if Katie's still in here. Yeah, Katie's a maximalist. I like my stuff, you know. I like to go into, I like, you look at these Pinterest homes and or the, like the Pinterest, like the farmhouse and how everything's just white and gray and clean and just and then you walk into my house and it's like the tacky grandma has thrown up everywhere because I have stuff everywhere everywhere I mean it's clean it's not like I'm not like a hoarder but I have like shelves I love little shelves full of little tchotchkes hi Charlotte so while I would like to have like a calm house mine's not and I don't, I don't know but yeah being I'm wanting to do some sort of a shirt about being a maximalist I don't quite know what to do yet it does looks like tacky grandma has thrown up in my house and everyone in my house is like gosh you have a lot of stuff but I can't help it I'm the one that cleans it they just get a look at it 
All right, so I have, this is a recycled stamp, and I have a stamp carousel. Uh, so I just, I don't know, I just like this one. It wasn't very expensive. Mark, come and say hi to everybody. Just come and say hi. Just peep in here and say hi. He doesn't want to say hi. See, he won't, he won't say hi. Can you just say hi? Hi. Okay. He was trying to walk so quietly too. And I was like, oh, Mark's here. And he's like, <laughs> everyone's saying hi to you, Mark. You found an ugly, tacky Christmas sweater in your grandma's room from 1980. Everyone's saying hi to you, Mark. He's smiling, but he won't come on camera. You're so mean. Just say hi. I said hi. Like, show your face. Oh, no. He's he's something else. Okay, so this I got to keep. I think it kind of looks good for Christmas decor too. But I know Katie. Katie probably likes this too because she likes these stamps like I do. And I like that it says recycled. I don't know. All right. Okay, I'm going to show you this thing that I'm keeping. And I am, I know that I'm going to get... Um, Question, or, you know, if I said I wasn't going to keep this, I would get 1,500 um, messages. I paid $3.50 for this little bag. Christmas items, $3.50. And inside, I'll show you the best thing that was in this bag. But there were the, I'm going to show you the best thing last. Hi, Vinny. I saw that you were in here, but I didn't say hi. These two little Christmas picks. Now I am, if you have not been, if you're not following Michael, the cult of vintage on Instagram, make sure that you do because he is making these Christmas wreaths. I try to say wreaths the right way, but I say, I call them reefs. Does anybody else call them reefs? Because that's what I call them. So I don't even know how to say them the right way, but I call them reefs. Like, like it's spelled R-E-E-F, reefs. Maybe it's just an Indiana thing, but that's what I call them. But I have some things I'm going to be sending him, and I thought maybe I would stick these in. These, Charlotte, were used for, like, cupcakes. They're like little cupcake picks. There's, like, a little angels with the shepherd and the horn. And then this little guy, his little pick is missing, but it's a little snowman playing a little flute. Or he's smoking a cigar. Maybe he's smoking a cigar. Oh, yeah, he's, he, he's, his pick is missing. And then here's a naked angel. It's plastic, a plastic naked angel. My husband and I are way opposites, way opposites. We've been together since we were 16. So we, we've been, he's, we've been through a lot. And he's a very patient man. Let's just say that. But yes, we are polar opposites polar opposites. But the best thing that was in that bag, now remember I paid $3.50 at an antique mall. At an antique mall. Okay? So don't rule out finding vintage Christmas for the cheap at an antique mall. The last thing that was in that bag was this flocked deer. Isn't he amazing? Look at that vintage glitter on his ears and tail. He is not for sale, by the way. Hi from Scotland. My husband, my husband's, my husband's, my husband has been to Scotland and he loved it. It's some place that I would love to go. And honestly, if I went to Scotland, I would want to go and sit on the banks of where the Loch Ness Monster is and just sit there all day and wait for the Loch Ness Monster to appear. That's what I would want to do. I mean, I want to go in the castles and all that, but I want to I want to sit and watch the for the Loch Ness monster. I really do. I bet you is it is it nice weather there right now? I wouldn't want to come home. I know, I know. And I love the way your accents are just, I don't know, you guys all sound so fancy. We all sound ignorant. <laughs> Edinburgh. Yeah. He bought me, or he brought me back some pottery from Edinburgh with the thistles, the thistle pottery. He brought me some of that. Hi, Laura. All right, so the little flock deer with his little feather. Now, he's not for sale because I'm keeping him, but $3.50. That's pretty amazing. And in fact, I have the Hallmark ornament. Hallmark a couple years ago um, 
had made the little flocked deer and my husband, I wanted it so bad my husband got it for me for Christmas. So now I have the actual thing to go with the ornament. So that was that goodie bag from an antique mall. This is the other one that I bought. Now these things will be for sale. Also, it says it just says Christmas stuff for $3.50. So I'm gonna open this up, oops. Oh darn it, I'm ruined the bag. I like to keep these zipper bags because I reuse them. Okay, these two things are tied together. I probably I will sell them together probably because they they're they're buddies. They've been together. But it's the vintage Santa and Snowman. Look at him. Look at his little star eye or his sunshine eyes. Oh, these are so cute. I will get them apart, but and Santa has a little dingle bell. <laughs> okay. But I love the snowman. And I'm not normally a snowman girl. But aren't those cute? All right. So those were $3.50 in that goodie bag. As well as this. And this is, this is vintage. It's made in Japan. Maybe this won't be for sale. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to try. It's battery-operated Christmas tree, so I think it plays music because it has a little switch. Oh, no, it lights up. Oh, maybe this will be for sale. I'll have to try this out and see if it works. If I can figure out how to get it all back together. So it has a light bulb. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's so neat. The inside... has like some paper in there, but it has, oh, I didn't realize this. This is so cool. So these little red beads in here, they light up. Well, hopefully they'll light up, but it is made in Japan and it has this metal base here. That's pretty cute. So all these, these three things were in a, at an antique mall for $3.50. That's pretty cute. And I I went back and looked through all of those goodie bags and I got the best ones. I was trying to get Jeffrey to get a couple things. And then this last one was also $3.50. And I loved these. I think that when we got there, it maybe they had just put their Christmas things out because there were some really good Christmas things that were still there that I know would have been, probably would have been snatched up. So... I don't know if maybe they had just set these things out, but are you leaving, Vinny? Bye, Vinny. Oh, yeah, Vinny's having a sale. He's having a group sale with um, uh, D from the Thrill the Thrift and Crafty Jackie. So, again, make sure that you, you know, you can come back and watch this later. Go watch, go watch the live sales where you can get some stuff. I mean, you can watch this later and then send me an email. Hi, Diane. So these little Christmas bells, they say Merry Christmas, and they will be sold together. They're angels, and I don't, not that there's anything wrong with angels, but I just don't, I don't do angels. I do Santas, but they're really cute. They say Merry Christmas, made in Japan, little, little uh, Christmas bells of angels. So those were $3.50 too, which, eh, I don't know. That might have been a little, I maybe shouldn't have bought those for $3.50. Okay, so in that same booth, and I'll show you these things really quickly. In that same booth, I got some Christmas pins. Well, I got some all kinds of pins. I don't know why. I like these pottery pins. This, I don't know how big, this is probably maybe 90s. But it's a little pottery snowman. I, I really like pottery, pottery pieces. And I think that we should be bringing brooches back. Do you want to bring brooches back? Oh, it's just today at three. And Vinny will have, oh, okay. I thought they were gonna be on Vinny's channel. Are they having their own sale? Is D and, D and Crafty Jackie having their own sale? I thought they were gonna be doing a, a three-way sale with Vinny. I know, I think, let's just start wearing brooches. I'm gonna start wearing a brooch in every video. See, I can wear this brooch. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this brooch on. This is a turkey brooch. Now, this is Hallmark. I bought these next two brooches because they brought me back to 
the 80s in my childhood. And this one is a Russ, R-U-S-S. Y'all remember Russ pins? The little turkey. Happy Turkey Day. Yes, I bet you do. I used to wear them a lot too when I was teaching. I would, I would wear pins a lot. But this one is Hallmark, a little Thanksgiving one. I'm going to put it on my sweater right now. We're going to bring brooches back. I like them. I think that they're fun. And then I got this one. Like I got this, this brooch first. And these were all a dollar. These were all a dollar each. And then I went back and looked again. And I liked this one. And I, I don't know. I haven't researched this one at all. It has a thing to where I think you can maybe make it, yeah, into a pennant, but it's a pig. It's a silver pig. So it has this little hook right here so you can wear it as a brooch, or if you want to, you can wear it as a necklace. And it has a maker's mark. I think it just says best. Best. But it, it feels like it's it's... I don't, it's not, it's not Mark Sterling, but it feels quality. And he has a little black rhinestone eye. Oh, did I see? The sale with Vinny Crafty Jackie will be on his channel at three. And then he's going on to do a second live. Vinny's out of control today. Yeah, this looks very well made to me. And I know that people like pigs and I tend to be, I tend to gravitate towards, well, anything with a face on it. That's, that's usually me. Anything with an animal or the face on it are the, the ones that I tend to gravitate towards. This one was a dollar too. And I think that this is a greyhound or it may be even an Italian greyhound. It could be either because they do look very, they're just a difference in size when you see them in life. But this could be an Italian greyhound too. So I got that and then this kitty cat jeffrey and i were and he had already paid and he's like oh, i wish i would have sold these pins and i said you can go back and buy more this one is a little cat and the i didn't realize that that black that gold dot right there is actually where the black paint has worn off jeffrey convinced me to buy this one he probably did that on purpose because he knew it was it had a gold spot or whip it. You have a you have a Bo Sterling brooch collection. Oh, really? I don't even know what that is. You have to send me a picture of what that is. Embrace the brooch. Right. These are Halloweeny brooches. So these will be these will sell better next year. But this one is a spider, gold spider on a silver spider web. And then this one is the last brooch. And listen, I have an entire box of really cool brooches that I really need to maybe sit down and do a video on. But this one's really cool. The spider with the red eyes. I miss baby. Did you, did you guys see the new baby Jeff Jeff? Should I go show the new baby Jeff Jeff? Oh, there he is. They want to see the baby, the new baby Jeff Jeff, Jeffrey. Real Jeffrey. Some people will put, I think that it's cool if you put brooches in your hair. Oh, no. Oh, I've done it now. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Well, I just threw my hair up today anyway. I know I like it. I like the, the brooch pieces or the spider spiders. I'll go get baby. Oh, how many thumbs ups do we have? Oh, we 241 people watching and only 83 thumbs ups. I will go get the new baby Jeff Jeff and the new baby Misty. If we can get to 300, no, well, only 241 people watching. Let's get to 150 thumbs ups and maybe 300 if we can get more people watching. Too many curls in your hair. Oh, well, some people will like put like a headband, you know, like the headbands and then a brooch in there. I've seen that too. Oh, I got myself a, a Christmas face mask with cars on it. And this one's reversible. So I can like, I can like hypnotize people on that side. I did actually get two, but one's from a different booth and I'll do that haul. But the one with Christmas cards on cars on it. And I got this baby Wendy is 
Oh my gosh, I think that it is, Mim Mimsy. I think it is baby, the baby from Casper, the little girl from Casper. I'm looking at her. She, I need to find some glasses for her. So I got this, I think it was $2.50, and it is an advertisement piece from a magazine. And it has Santa holding a little Santa. You know those Santas that ring the bells and walk? Which, if you see the old ones, those are going for, like, they're selling them for, like, 20 bucks for those um, battery-operated Santas that ring the bell. You can tell the difference if you have a, a, a newer one and then you have one that's probably from the 60s. You can tell the difference in the way they were made, obviously. But, yeah, so I thought that was funny because it's Santa holding a Santa. That's, that's that toy. Then there's a globe. So this I'm actually going to keep. For this season, I may sell it next year, but I'm going to hang this up in my house. You have that Santa? Yeah, they're they're starting to become pretty popular. We saw several of them at the antique mall, and they were all pretty hefty priced, too. All right. Oh, we're at 149 I, I'll go ahead and get. We're close. I'll go ahead and get them. I haven't, I haven't really shown the new baby Jeff Jeff that much to the actual Jeffrey. But here's the new baby Jeff Jeff. Doesn't it look just like him? Look, it's, it's a little chubby Jeff Jeff baby. Him, him had a lot of sweets. He doesn't squeak anymore. He is made by, uh, you, you feed a doll. You feed a doll, uh, company. Incorporated from 1967. This is Plum Pies. But it's, yeah, isn't that little baby Jeff Jeff? There he is. He's had a lot of sweets. And then I have Old Lady Misty. There's Old Lady Misty. Don't we look just alike with our gold glasses? And look, I'm rolling up some cigars, apparently. Apparently, I am rolling up some cigars for a party. But I got this from the, the Marine Flea Market. But there is Old Lady Misty. She just likes to hang out with, um, with uh, Baby Jeff Jeff. And then here's Baby Misty, which we got when we were down there. And this, I need to find some glasses for her. But see, she talks just like the real Misty. Just like the real Misty. She talks a lot. No, no, please take me with you. I think you're nice. She thinks you're nice. She's doesn't have I think she's supposed to have a little dress with it. But look, it's windy. But we're she's little baby Misty. And she, I have them all sitting up on a shelf with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mrs. Claus. They're all sitting up there making me happy. Yeah, I need I need a I need a I need to find some glasses for her. Okay. Let's continue on with the haul. Um, I got this little horse pla platter, no, planter. It's made in Japan. I liked it. And I know I got my horse girls out there that love their Western and their horses. This is a really clean, nice planter. It's got a fence, which I kind of think that this would be, um, it would kind of, kind of be nice for business cards. Or you can keep it on your desk and put post-it notes in it. I don't know, I just kind of thought that it would do, it would have a different um, use than just for a planter. I mean, you could use it as a planter, but it is marked Japan on the bottom. And then I got this little guy, and I, I don't know, I kind of want to keep this. I don't think that I am. Let me get a, let me go off camera just for a second time and grab one of these bottle brush trees. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute that is with a bottle brush tree. It's a little, woo! It's a little um, deer. Someone had messaged me and said that they think this is from like a little child's tea set. And, um, oh, and again, the, you can get a whole bag full of bottle brush trees on Amazon for like six to eight dollars of different colors if you're wanting to use them in your home. Or if you have an antique booth and you want to use them to stage things. Because if you have this on a shelf, 
I mean, he's cute, right? He's got his little baby deer up here. But the baby deer has a broken ear. See, the ear is missing. But you can, you can save it by putting a bottle brush tree in it. And then someone will really want it because look how cute it is. Even though it's broken, it still has purpose. I think that it's so cute. I like the little spots here. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. Um, oh, maybe. I wonder if his nose was cold painted. Maybe he would, he would be cute if you painted his nose red and made him Rudolph. How do you know if you have an old Santa Bell guy? Um, you can look to see where it's made. I mean, if, it, it, if it's made in Taiwan or Hong Kong, it's going to be vintage. But um, the I'm not sure. If you have two of them in your hands, that's the best way. Like the older ones, the beards are a little bit more silkier. They're just made better. They're a little heavier than the than the other ones. Um, if you look underneath, take his clothes off, Laura. Strip him down. Pull off his clothes. See if there's any markings on his back anywhere or maybe even in the battery compartment. You might see some sort of a marking. I don't know who he's talking. Mark's talking to somebody outside. But you might be able to find, you know, the marking. Oh, and look at my shirt, guys. Do you like my shirt? This is my Chapter 2 Vintage Co. merch. You can, she's got, I ordered, I think I ordered one of each of her shirts. But um, you can go to her YouTube page and um, go to her Teespring link and you can order your, it, and this one just says Vintage, Vintage, Vintage. So this could be good for a guy, could be good for a girl. It says vintage. Yes, and um, you can get one from her Teespring store. It's very, very soft, too. That's why I, I, I'm, I like my t-shirts. You guys know that, but I like a, a, a feel of it. On the head or the rear of dolls, you can find markings sometimes. Yes, and in the battery compartment sometimes, too. They'll be hidden in there. Oh, Jeffrey, since you're here, we'll talk about this. Jeffrey convinced me that I should buy this. And you guys know that I am cheap. I buy low and sell high. Buy low, sell high. That's what we try to do. I mean, depending on what it is. But we I paid up for this. This is a beautiful Westmoreland. It's um, Wakefield Ruby, I think is what it's called. Are you coming back in? Who are you talking to? Oh, an old customer. People are so mad that we're not open anymore. Did they want to come in? They're so mad. But anyway, this is Wake, uh, Westmoreland Wakefield Ruby. And I paid $25 for this. Jeffrey got one too. So he we have twins. Jeffrey and I had twins of fairy lamps. And he got one and I got one and the red on now this is the this is the exception to buying a flashed fairy lamp. The red part is flash painted on, but it's it's done very very well and it has almost like an iridescence to it. Mark will be president one day and doesn't want the footage to haunt him. <laughs> Maybe. So, um I, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, so I will be, this will be as an offer up because I only sell my fairy lamps as an offer or not all of them as an offer up. Most of, most of them I do. It will be um, in my live sale and Jeffrey's going to have his in his live sale and I want to make more money than Jeffrey on mine just so I can tease him about it. So yeah, he um, he bought one too. So you'll have two ch two chances to get one if you really really want it. I paid up for it, so I probably will at least start start the bidding at what I paid for it. It is beautiful. It's perfect for Christmas. Um, yeah, I, I I it's it's definitely different. It's definitely different than you know the stars and bars and the ones that I see all the time. So it is very very pretty. Um, he will do an offer up. No, Andrea, he isn't going to win. We need to make sure that I win and not Jeffrey. Jeffrey's going to be like, no, don't say that. Now, Jeffrey sold a um, cellophane reef, reef. See, I'm going to say reef. He sold a cellophane reef last night, and I'm going to have one on my sale on Tuesday. 
I actually, this is the second one that I found. So don't, don't say that. Yeah, I can, I can hear them now. Okay, these um, are holy cows, and they have already sold. I had a um, someone reach out to me that wanted to buy them not long after that video went up. And they are these pink porcelain holy cow. They cute. And they have the nice little flower uh, necklaces on. They're in excellent condition. They're made in Japan by probably Nesco. No? I don't know. They just say they're made in Japan. And it's so weird. I don't understand why, but the salt and pepper comes out of their faces, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because wouldn't it just automatically fall out? See, there's, there's that one. They're just standing there. You have to, I would think that they would just, it would just automatically fall out of their holes, but they're really cute. They do have their stoppers, but these, these are sold. They have been sold. And then I got these three little bears. These are made by uh, Palmar. Oh my gosh, that one's the cutest one. The, I think that these were in the video. There's the one laying down. They do have their stickers on it. And then here is this little guy. I'll show you these two together. Look at their little faces. <laughs> you know, last night was fun. It's so weird the way these shakers, some of, the, some of them come out of their butts. They, the salt and pepper comes out of their butts. That's, that's appetizing. This one is my favorite because he's being so sassy and naughty. And look at his little tooth. Oh, he's so cute. But he kind of looks like he's got boobies. Look. You see? Right there. I don't know. Do they all? No, just that one. It does. I don't know. But these were cute. They and they all they all three have their Palmar st sticker. And I will be selling them as a as a set because they're brothers. That's why I was so adamant last night on Jeffrey's sale about the um, little map the little mouse. So I'm like, they've, they're brothers. They've been together all this time. Who cares that they're broken? They're brothers. So I'm glad that they are all going to be together. You know, again, even though they're broken. <clears throat> yeah, last, last night was, Jeffrey sales are always fun. They're always fun. Got all kinds of stuff on my tablecloth. All right, I did get these uh, salt and pepper shakers. I don't know why. I like these so much, but I, I, I don't know, because this isn't normally my style, but they were, I liked the heavy glaze on them, I think, more than anything, but they are the Cuckoo Clock Salt and Pepper Shakers. They have this nice, heavy glaze, and these feel like they are American-made to me. They, maybe they're not, but they just, they have that feel to them. I'm just so weird. I like the way things feel in my hands. And I like the way that these felt in my hands. But it has the holes up there. There's no stoppers in them. But I, I just thought that they were pretty. So I got those. And then these little angie dogs are so angie. They're so angie. I love these. Look at their faces. I like that they look like they're stitched. They look like they're little stuffed animals. They're so, they're so mad. Again... The person that painted these, I'm just going to be like, let's make them look angry. That's the best thing to do. They're little terriers, and they're so angry. I love them. But they, they are for sale. They will be for sale. I want to say I might have another set of these. I don't know. And then these have actually sold as well. But I do have another set of these. They are Redware, Inesco Redware Swan candle holders. I love the beautiful drip glaze there on it. I know. They belong together. They belong together. I, I think I did have, I've had those before. I either have had them before or I do have them. But I just love their faces. But these have sold. But I do have another set of these. Um... 
So they are made by Inesco Redware. They're in great condition, but they have sold a little chip. They were missing arms. Well, Jeffrey, they still, they needed their brothers. They need to be together. And Jeffrey's just gone. He's just like, oh, nobody will want these. Yes, they, they, they need their brother, brothers. All right, I got this little girl too. I have her sister. Um, this one's a little bit newer. It says 1958. I don't think this is made in 1958. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but it is this little, what does that say? Yeah, you're not, this is, I think it's a re, a repro. It's a repro, like a second edition, but it is Goble, the little uh, angel girl with the red cloak. She has a Goble sticker. She's marked Thailand with a sticker. But her, she says 1958. That was probably the original release of them. All right, Jeffrey, have fun on your floor. <laughs> um, but I got her because I have the I do have the one with the blue cloak, and I know I saw that D has hauled these a couple times. The one in the blue cloak, it is if it's marked with the West Germany bottom on it, it should sell for 18 to 20 dollars or so. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I don't even know what she's worth, but I just, I liked her. So like, I like that she's in a red cloak. I've only seen the ones in the blue cloak. So, and then these little girls Mark found when we got there, they were in the video as well, but these little angels. Now she's got some cold paint missing from her face. She's trying to hide her face. She's so ashamed, but she's, She's ashamed to be with her. She has her eyes closed too. But they're little candle holders. And the backs of their candle holder part is a little gift package. So the little cute little candle holders, the little angels. I don't know who. Oh, I didn't realize. But these are whole Howard. Did you know these were whole Howard? Did I realize that they were whole Howard? These are whole Howard. Dated 1964. Well, that changes things. And how much were these? Do you remember? They're like $2.50 for at an antique mall, people. $2.50 for Holt Howard Angel Candlesticks. I mean, she's got a little bit of cold paint missing from her face. $2.50. So you can get things at an antique mall. Yeah. Yes, they are going, and listen, if you're interested in any of these things that I said are going to be for sale, like the fairy lamp, don't message me about that because that'll be for available in a live sale. But the first, and I, I go by the first email that I received on a certain, on an item is who I sell it to. Um, I got a cute little tea towel, which I think is adorable. It does have some stains on it, but the stains tell the story. I've always thought that, but it's got the little bird and a cat on one end with the blue stripe and the red stitching. Linen tablecloth, or not tablecloth, tea towel. See? It is a tea towel. Very cute. I, again, I typically will buy these if they have um, animals on them. You could put a tree in the back. Oh my gosh, Jamie, look, this little round thing fit perfect in there. She can hold a little tree for a little assemblage. That's adorable. What else can we do? Oh, look, they could be Christmas swans. That's about all the little things that I could say that they could be, but I love it in that deer planter. And then I got a little piece of Jeanette. Now, I it, this is just clear glass Jeanette. And... Thrift used sale the other night and I was watching it and she had sold one and she put fairy lights in it. I'm going to look today if I get out for some colored fairy lights. Um, normally you see these Jeanettes and they're in that like the amber or the iridescent pink. This one's clear glass. So I think that it would be neat with, with lights in it. So when she was showing hers, I was like, I think I bought one. I think I got one. So I'm going to Christmas this up a little bit. And um, I'll have it available in the live sale. Little Jeanette Deer. And then I got this as Shawnee. And oh, this is so good. This is Shawnee USA. It's in excellent condition. I looked it over real good before I bought it. And it is this deer planter. The yellow deer on it. 
But again, you, well, let's see, you could put Christmas trees in it. I mean, maybe bigger ones. But you can use this as a piece on your desk to put notepads in, you know, so you can sit. If you're sitting at your desk all day and you want something cool to look at, you can, you know, use things like this to make them useful again. No, I wouldn't like I notepads, like post-it notes or something, so it doesn't get all, you know, I wouldn't put anything else that would make it dirty. But I love that. I love Shawnee in general, so I was happy to find that. And then the last thing that I found was this. And it's in, it's a piece of opal glass. No, this one's milk glass because it, you can see the swirling in it. But it's the, and it hangs. It's a plate that someone has turned into a, I, I think, I, I don't know for sure, but I, I want to say that a, a lot of times people would do these in, in like a memorial to someone who had passed away. So this handsome young fella, I don't know what his story is. The the paint around the picture frame itself, the black, it the, the paint over here is chipped away. But I just I just thought that he was just neat. And he has a story. That's what sp kind of spoke to me. I thought there was a there was a reason why somebody encased this photo of this young man into this plate. So I think that maybe that was the reason why it was a memorial thing. And I don't know. I just think that that's kind of neat. I'm kind of getting into, I, you know, I, I'm wanting to do a whole wall of my Zigfield Folly girls and my Gibson girls, but maybe I should add him. He could be the, the lucky fella with all the ladies, but I don't know. I just liked him. He's, he's adopted family. That's right. All right, so I wanted to say, too, before I do go, is I went to my post office today, and I did get a card from um, Michelle from Newton's Cupboard. She sent me a Christmas card, and um, go make sure that you subscribe to her channel, her YouTube channel. When this video goes up, I'll put her channel information down below, but she has a YouTube channel. She does a lot of hauls and things like that, so she's so sweet. She lives in Kentucky, so she's my neighbor in the south, and we've met up a couple times. And um, she's doing a Christmas card exchange. So I'll link, I'll link her channel below. But she sent me a Christmas card. My first one of the season. So thank you, Michelle. Misty and family. That includes you, Mark. Right. Yeah. Michelle Newton's cupboard and family. So yeah. Yeah, she has a YouTube channel now. So yeah, make sure that that you go check out her channel. And then this was sent to me by um, Thrift You. And look, they are so clever with their packaging. Look, enjoy Thrift You. They printed off these vintage in inspired stickers to put on their packages, which you know that, that speaks to me. And then on the front, it says, Misty, a gift from Melanie Hewer. I don't know if you're watching Melanie, but I'm opening this. It's something from their live sale that they had. I feel like I'm going to cut through Santa's face. I'm going to open it up from the back. I can't do that. Can't do that to you, Santa. All right. I'm going to get through this tape, and we're going to see what this is together. All the way from Iowa. me that I love these these are my favorite ones with the red base and I was trying to win it at their sale and Melanie you did not have to do that oh my gosh I love this save so you prosper world bank it's from the Ohio art I love these they look so cute up on a shelf look how cute it looks with my with my heart Thank you so much, Melanie. That is so nice. I love these so much. Barb gave me one too, but I, I want all of them. I want a whole shelf full of globes. I have about three shelves full of globes already, but I love them. Love, love, love them. The heart behind me, um, my friend Pam, Little Red Porch, if you're not following her on Instagram, make sure that you do because she, they only make so many and then they put them on their website these, I mean, this is the biggest one, and it's it's huge. 
Um, but I, they have smaller ones too. Um, and she does different things. She doesn't do just the hearts, but um, they, she only has these pop-up sales, you know, once a month maybe. So you may, if you're not following her on Instagram, they did just restock, but I think that they've sold out of a lot. I think they've sold out of a lot. I did place an order for some Christmas gifts. Um, and my heart sweatshirt came from them, and she's selling those. And I got a hat, and she's selling those as well. And the stickers, she has stickers of the big heart too. And I, they're very much, well, she got them from the same place that I got, I get my stickers from. So you can put them in your dishwasher. It's just happy. It's just a happy, something that you look at, it just makes you happy. So Little Red Porch, uh, follow her on Instagram. Um, she did a few little YouTube, ch I was trying to convince her to, to do more, um, but she does have a YouTube channel too, so you can check out um, some of her videos. She's a lot of fun, and so make sure that you do that. Was there anything else I was going to tell you? Yeah, it is happy, and we do need happy. Yes. She just restocked. I, I was able to place an order for a few things this morning, so um, the black and white kitty, this one? Or this one. These are cruel. This is cruel and this is cruel. They used to be hanging, these used to hang in my classroom um, when I was still teaching. And then uh, this is a broken Kit Kat clock. It, it, it's completely broken, but I, I told Mark that we needed to repair it so I could hang it on the wall. Tuesday, my sale is Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, I, and um for the for the entire month of December starting December 1st on when we're going to start on chapter 2 vintage co's YouTube channel Michael, Michelle and I and Alex are going to have a four-way sale every Tuesday for the month of December every Tuesday and we're calling it a reseller or what did I say recelebration Recelebration. So we're going to have a live sale. We're going to condense it a little bit. We're each going to do 10 items each. So we have a time to kind of talk and chit chat a little bit too. So it's going to be every Tuesday at one o'clock starting December 1st. And it's going to be on the first, first one's going to be on Alex's channel. And then this, then we'll go back to my channel and then we'll go to Michelle's. Michael doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he does have an Instagram page. Um, so those are going to be every Tuesday. And so make sure that you are subscribed to Michelle Comfy Cozy and make sure that you're subscribed to Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Because if you're not, then there's no fun in that. You want to come, you want to attend the live sale. Um, but my sale this week will be on Tuesday. Uh, and I am going to do, I haven't decided yet. I, I'm trying to cut back a little bit because I, I, I'm, I'm tired. This week was a rough one for me. I was just, I, I was just tired. I just was out of it. I just, I don't know. I was, I was in some sort of a funk. So I am, I'm going to try to slow down. I'm no longer doing the Instagram after the sales sales. I might do a pop-up one every once in a while. So that will take 15 items off of what I've normally sell. And then I think I'm going to stick to selling probably 50 items during my, my live sales. So it's going to be a little bit condensed, but it's still going to be good stuff. So, um, I just, I, something had to give a little bit and I was just, I mean, I do it all myself. So I was just going a little crazy and I, you know, was shipping 75 items and that's not counting the eBay orders too. And the orders from people who see my haul videos and they want to purchase something like I've got, I, I typically will sell five to six things per haul video. So, it, it keeps you busy, doesn't it, Mark? I, I work, eBay. huh? Plus eBay. Plus eBay. I work nonstop all the time. At night, in the morning, all the time. But I love it. I love what I do. Um, I was re reading remediate. My degree was in early childhood education. And I did reading, like reading remediation. So I had, a, uh, I had grades first through five. Um, I did own a preschool and I, I did that. I taught preschool um, before that. And honestly, when my kids were little, I was a stay-at-home mom. I didn't, I didn't 
I had a daycare in my house. I didn't work outside of my house until I wanted was feeling like I was able to leave my kids. How far is my shop? I don't know what five miles. Five to, yeah, five, five to six miles. And let me tell you something that you want to hear something magical that happened this morning. Let me tell you something magical. I the doorbell rang this morning. And what is that? That's the, that's the doorbell. We haven't heard the doorbell in such a long time. And so I looked out my window and then, oh, I was like, I saw cockroaches and I was like, what? No, you must be talking about something in the chat, which is fine. Um, I looked out the window and there was an Amish buggy. And I have a weird fascination for the Amish. I always have. I don't know why, but I do. And there's an Amish family that live near us. Because we'll be sitting out on our back patio when the weather's nice and I can hear the horse hooves. And I, then I close my eyes and pretend I'm on Mackinac Island. That's, that's what I do it when I can, when I'm not driving. So anyway, I look out and there were, there was the, an Amish buggy. So Mark answered the door and there were two little Amish children with a tote, storage container tote filled with candies. And jelly and pies and and good stuff for sale so i'm like bark's like do you have any any cash on you because you know almost children aren't gonna have debit card machine you know they're not gonna have that and we got some buckeyes from the amish children and i'm hoping they come back next saturday we're gonna be a little bit more we need to keep cash on hand for the amish children delivery service it was lovely and they were so cute. I mean, I'm thinking that's a good marketing ploy. You know, you send these two cute little Amish kids up and you buy all, I bet you they sold out. Bet you they sold out. I know, and I'm thinking, I'm gonna buy a bunch of their Buckeyes and I'm not gonna make any. They're, the Amish are gonna make our Buckeyes, Mark. I am not making any, because I, or they're a pain in the butt to make. Is your shop ever open to the public? No. Um, it is not, um, we, I, I thought about doing a little pop-up shop, but with the, everything that's going on in the world, I, 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 I just, I don't feel comfortable doing it. And right now I'm not ready because I, I, it's just, I use this place to work from. What is a Buckeye? It's peanut butter ball with chocolate covered it over it. Um, so I may in the future do a small area, which it's not going to be, it's 2,500 square feet in here. And we won't, I won't be having this much space because a lot of it I use, you know, for my business. We own the building outright. So, which is nice because we don't have to worry, you know, necessarily about, you know, paying, we'll have to pay our, our utilities and our taxes basically. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we, I don't know. I don't know. It's funny because we we have won Best Antique Store, what, for four years straight? Mm -hmm. In Lawrence County, we had won. They did like the best of. And we won the Best Antique Store in the county for four years straight. And this year, we came in fourth place. And we've not even been open all year. So we, we, were, pretty, we were pretty excited about that. I saw that we had even been nominated, and I was like, why? <laughs> we're not even open. So... But we do, I get people walking by and they'll sometimes knock on the door. And I had some people here and I was here until after dark last night, but they knocked on the door and um, it was actually a lady that I was on jury duty with. And uh, they're both like, I wish you were still open. But I, I just, I just, I wanted, we, I wanted my life back. In fact, we were open last year and we were, when we were in the shop, um, taking down all of the Christmas stuff because I, I put up like seven or eight Christmas trees. I changed it. I it was like the shop was completely changed every year and we were taking it down and I had just had, I just was like, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Why, why are we doing all this? And like, it was a full week nonstop of getting it ready, a full week nonstop of taking it down. And it, I did. I didn't. I was. I wasn't in it anymore. I was just. I was just done. And so, um, 
I just decided I was just going to sell more on eBay and, and pay attention to that and sell the thing, sell the things on eBay and try instead of selling them here in the shop. And, um, so far that's worked. So it's just, it, I like, I like my freedom. Like I, if I want to go to an antique mall on a Saturday or to an auction on a Saturday, then I can go and I'm not tied down to being here every weekend for the, for four years, every weekend. So it just works out a lot better for us to not have open to the public anymore. But that's not to say that we won't some t someday, because I got a lot of big stuff that I'm going to sell. In fact, one thing I thought about doing was going on to my um, Wildflower Antiques has an Instagram page as well. I haven't I haven't posted anything on there for a while, but I th I'm thinking about maybe going live on there just to kind of, or, or even make, I don't know, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. Make a video or something showcasing some of these big pieces of furniture that I want to sell. And hopefully I can get rid of them because I would like to have more shelves, like not old shelves, new shelves where I can put all my smalls. Because that's honest, that's where my heart is. My heart is these quirky, small pieces. That's, that's what, um, makes me happy. I don't, I don't want to sell furniture and I've got trunks, chairs, tables, hutches. I don't want to sell any of that. I mean, those are good profits because you know, you, they're expensive. Yes, we can go on road trips. We could never go on road trips because we always had to be tied down on the, on the weekends. And we were only open Thursday and Fridays. We were open Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays for about, what, a year? And so we didn't have a day off. Not a day off at all. We were both working full-time, coming here on the weekends, and working on a Saturday. It was a lot. But we knew that when you start a business, you have to put a lot of time and energy into it. And we were. But, um, And then we just kind of whittled down our hours, and now we're not open at all. So... That's okay. I can't see any of the chat. Okay. I did need the less stress because it was a, it, it was a lot. It was a lot. Okay. So, um, I think that I'm going to wrap this up. Yeah. I thought about that too, but then I still have to be some, I don't like to be on a schedule. Mark's like, Wah. I don't like to be, I don't like to be anywhere. I don't want to be told where I need to be at any given time. Uh, no, it was not an antique store when we bought it. It was empty for a long time. We have put quite a bit of money into this building um, because it was in pretty bad shape. And we totally remodeled and gutted the um, the space upstairs. And my dad lives up there. Um, so it's a really beautiful apartment. So we've, we've put a lot of time and energy into this building. That doesn't mean that we won't sell it one day because we did look at it as an investment. So... You know, we, we, we don't know what the future is going to hold yet, but when we purchased it, we looked at it all through as an investment opportunity. Bye, Mama J. It was a pet store in here at one time, a really horrible pet store from what I've been told. Yes, he is living. Now, listen, he's living security, but we've got cameras everywhere. My husband is a camera fanatic. We got cameras at our house. We got cameras here. We got cameras every. You can't get away with doing anything in this building because we got cameras. And those cameras talk, talk back to you. So there's been times when I've been here and Mark's talking through me to the camera like, are you coming home yet? Remember that? So they talk to me. And I don't like it. So there's cameras everywhere. But we're like a block from the police, from the jail, and like another block from the police department. He doesn't like to be ca on camera, but he likes to film people on camera. No, he just likes the, the, he's actually in a startup thing with this, these security cameras. So that's kind of why we have a lot of cameras. A lot of, we put a camera on Maybell at night when she sleeps so we can watch her. We're weird. Um, I would like to bring Maybell here, but uh, Maybell needs to not be a puppy. <laughs> Because there's lots of things to get into here, and I don't want her to get into anything, you know. So we're we're trying to be careful, and she's crazy. If she doesn't have her frisbee time um, of the evening, her brain forgets how to work. 
and she's nuts. But she's five months old. She's getting fixed next month. So hopefully she'll, I mean, she's Jack Russell, so she's crazy, but we adore her. And I need to put, put I need, I need to post an updated picture of her. And I just haven't. Yes. Maybelle will, she, she will be crazy. And she, the potty training is still, it's a, ugh. And we have read that Jack Russell Terriers are the worst, one of the worst dogs to potty train. Because they're stubborn. And she'll be outside, outside for an hour. Outside, running around. She'll come inside, pee on the floor. And we're like, you were just outside for an hour. So, that's a puppy. Ooh. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go. Mark's walking around looking at me like, are you done? Because I still do. I need to package up some packages and get some more invoices sent out from haul videos. If you saw anything that I showed that you're interested in, you can give, send me an email and I'll let you know if it's still available. And don't forget that Tuesday at 1, I will be having my live sale. So it's going to be on a different day. Uh, make sure that you do check out uh, Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co. She's having her sale tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And yeah, thanks for joining me. I like doing this. I want to do this. I, I was kind of thinking about doing these little chats more often. Michelle and I were, were kind of talking about it a little bit too. And I like to get Michael in, in on this too, because he's a hoot and a half. So, and I think Jeffrey, Jeffrey, we wanted to do something, some sort of little something, something. All right. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Monday will be my next video. And I've been doing them at 830 in the morning. So Monday at 830 will be my next video. Have a great weekend, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.